I know we're doing this on a Sunday, but now or never. So it's a weekday. It's coming up, so I want to get into the pirate costumes. I'm actually happy that they actually have new costumes out. And I know I'm super late. I've been fucking around with, you know, MK and everything, trying to see what that's about. So I've been playing that, you know, trying, trying to grind the crypt, but I have no idea how I'm doing. So I have a list just so I won't forget anybody on this list because I always do that and I know that they have like the pack split up. So I'm gonna look at my phone. I try to go down the list and get everybody. So, and I know I didn't like specifically put the costumes on the people like in the costume part, but you can still get to it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and go in. Look at these costumes. And by the way, I do have phase four, but she does not have a pirate costume, so unfortunately we have to forget about her. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Rick and Mila. Mila. All right, there we are. And do some rig. There we go. So far from what I've seen, they're okay. They're not that bad. It's just that I wish they had a little bit more difference to the costumes. Cause it's like, everybody has them like kind of the same thing in like three different variations with like different colors, which is kind of lazy, but. I don't hold back when I fight. I would say that this variation of the women's costume is the one I hate the most. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't like the dress. Yeah, something about the dress is just like off putting. Kind of wish it was shorter. I do not know how to play with Mila, but we're gonna try. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that was under her dress. <laughs> it's like some buckles. Right yeah, so I'm just looking at my list. I gotta make sure I keep up with it. <laughs> yeah, so this has to be the costume from the ladies that I hate the most. I don't like this dress. No, the boots are all right. It's like from her like top to just the waist is the best part. And her hat, even though the hat falls off, so. Let me make sure the stream is all right. Make sure I hear everything. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep it going. So next we have on the list, we're gonna do Tina and Bass. Now this costume is probably the one I like the most. Probably because it's the most revealing, but I don't know, I just like these. When it comes to all the guy costumes, they're all the same, just different colors. So, and I mean, they're not bad. So I really can't complain about that at all. I'm kind of bummed out because Kazumi is my favorite character and she's probably gonna show up in pack two, but I'm like, she should have been in pack one. Yeah. 
And I do like this one with Tina because it has like the U.S. motif with it, so I do like that. It goes with the character. Yeah, this costume variation is probably the best because it's probably the most revealing so it doesn't have to be the best but I like it it's probably people out there just like oh it's tacky but no I think it's the best one and they definitely gave it to the most top heavy girls like Tina Alright, let's go to our next people. I have to keep on logging into my phone because iPhones and phones in general do not want to stay on and I cannot get this to stay on. I need to change the screen. So we're going to do, I think that's that. And Yane. as I'm looking at the photos it seems like some of them keep with their like usual like color schemes that they usually have with costumes which is not bad that's cool so that's pretty nice I just wish that it was like different variation they have different hats that have different feathers and stuff like that and like some of the guys got like bandanas on instead of like the pirate hat but mm, I don't know mm. <laughs> Oh, her shoes are way better. Oh. Okay, so her shoes are way better. And for some reason, her, her dress looks better. I don't know what that is about. It looks different a little bit but I can't really tell if it is it like has like some more flair or something to it Don't even do that. <laughs> He's about to do that dumbass move that I hate. Yeah, it looks like hers is a different variation of the dress, but I can't tell. I'll be sure. It definitely looks like this dress is shorter. It doesn't look like the one that Mila had on because I think Mila's was longer, has some dumbass plaid. And this one kind of crosses over and I can see the belt buckle on her leg. And her shoes are different. Okay, so anybody that has on this variation of the dress or the pirate costume is a go. But the other one, no thanks. We get to the next folks, which is Hanukkah and Neo Tingu. Oh 
don't play with Neo Tingu. I don't never really play as her. Ooh, she has all black. I'm already a fan. I know that Hanukkah has the booby one. I bet you she has the one with the boobs. Yep, she has the one with the boobs. <laughs> It makes sense, it's Hanukkah. <laughs> I wonder if pack two it will be just totally different pirate costumes. That'd be interesting. hers already. It's all black. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. <laughs> Her gloves and everything is different and I like that she, you know, gets the sword because anything that replaces the fan is going to be like a new item that goes with the costume, which is nice. Oh, I thought I was rocking. <laughs> is not on the stage. What is up with that? It's just gone. Oh shit. Why do I keep doing that? That is not a good move to be trying to do. her face anymore. I liked her face in the other game. But other than that, yes, this is probably my favorite. It's all black. She has fingerless gloves, which is my favorite thing to wear. I'm like super <laughs> close. I'm really up in there. So yeah, it's all black. Neo Tingu wins for my favorite. At first I thought it was Tina. Tina comes in second and then Neo Tingu is first. Cause she's wearing all black all right let's find our next people it's gonna be Heate and Hatomi oh the lesser of two evils I don't like neither one of those characters but I'll just be Hatomi that's so crazy they always put them next to each other I know Who's next on here? Okay. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Does anybody know when Mai comes out and the other KOF character? I feel like I've been waiting forever. They're gonna tell us when they come out and you never, never even know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so she has the same dress on too like Yanni had. Do they all have this dress? I can't tell. But it's just that Mila's was awful because she had that ugly ass plaid. Could be.
This costume is all right because the green is a, it's a good green. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good green. Yeah, it's not bad because the color saves it. But that's about it. So, I'm going to do Lisa and Rick. Lisa always has some good colors too. Is that rig? It is rig. I wanted to make sure. And yes, every time there's DLC dropping for this game, I will purchase it. And I already did the same thing with Mortal Kombat. Like I got through the whole right, entire story already, so I have Frost and I already have Shokan, so right. no worries. Let's get started then. Green works really well on Lisa too. Or La Marosa. I don't never call her that though. I always call her Lisa. <laughs> I should just call her the butterfly. No. I'm gonna shut all that down, sir. He was trying to do that to hit me. And I was just like, nope. Yes, I do. So, this is a good color. It's a lot going on. It's some red, some blue, some green, black, but, and then the, you know, Toucan Sam colors at the top with the feathers. But that's Lisa. Oh, and her shoes are, they don't have a color, they're just black, and they look different. They might not be different, but I might just be seeing things. Hmm, her hand is not touching her hip at all. It's an optical illusion to make you think that she is. So another last person is Christy. So I'll pick Christy and probably just have her go against Lisa. Ooh, I like the black and white. It fits her. And yes, I did pay with Phase 4 already um, a while back, but I haven't made a video on her yet, but I will later, some other time. Maybe my next video, I'll do some phase four stuff. Right. Let's get started. I'll play with you until you break. I like this color. The white. Real Christy is good. 
her hair should be no other color except that. <laughs> she looks so weird if she had another hair color. I know it. Oh shit. Oh shit, I thought I was blocking. This is a good costume. Well, the, the overall color is really good. It works. Oh, I didn't even notice like the little pirate thing up there had like a bandana on. That's nice. What's on top of the hat? Nothing special. Just the flowers. It's in the back. Laced up in the back. Blue jeans. She has on the Lisa heels. Yeah. I like this. So that'll be it for the video today guys, I just want to go over these pirate costume DLC so you know I can check it out a little bit more, I've only seen images, and so y'all can check it out too and see if y'all want to purchase this um, and any other DLC that might be coming out for this game I'll make sure that I purchase it. My next video will probably be some phase 4 footage, so phase 4 is available to buy so you don't have to go out there and you know buy the $92 DLC. Um, because I'm a sane person, so I'm not going to go out there and get that, so. <laughs> so I'll be making footage on that next week. I'm also going to be playing some more Mortal Kombat. I'm going to do some of the Crypt. I really need to unlock some stuff. I did already unlock a lot of costumes, but I need to grind that a little bit more. The Crypt is one of the features of Mortal Kombat that I really do like, so. I'm going to be doing some more of that. But yeah, so just tune in next week. I have some more of these videos coming up. I don't know what new game I'll buy yet. It's almost like when new games come out, I'm already ready to go to the next thing, but we'll see. But until then, keep tuning in, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.